this is where Kevin feels most comfortable. His type of autism means that the outside world, with its noise and surprises, can be unpleasant. He lives most of his life online, but recently that life's become unpleasant too. Well, it's been horrendous, cyberbullying, trolling, uh, stalking. It's just been horrific. Kevin says people attack him for being autistic. Last year, he even got an email with a death threat inside. I said, uh, I will sort Ely out and uh, I will send uh, people over to sort him out. And I was terrified. Bullying isn't new to Kevin. He and his brother were both born with autism and he's always suffered abuse for being different. But in the last few weeks, he started a campaign. He wants Parliament to recognise this unique problem because he believes existing hate crime laws just aren't enough. They don't really work. I've reported it on a number of times to hate crime, logged it with the local police and hate crimes do not work. I want now a anti-autism bullying bill in place. His campaign's got some high-profile backers. Ricky Gervais said, please support Kevin Healy's campaign. Bullying has to stop. Katie Price added, I do not want my son Harvey to grow up and be bullied and will not stand for it. And Melanie Sykes has got involved too. My eight-year-old son Valentino is on the spectrum, she said, so this campaign holds a very poignant place in my heart. But getting an autism-specific law might not be that easy. Although the law can set parameters for society and although the law can say we disapprove of this behaviour, you're not going to get people brought before the courts, which is a complicated and expensive business, just because somebody gets an upsetting and offensive message, however unpleasant, and that person happens to be autistic. Kevin set up a petition and is hoping for enough signatures to trigger a debate in Parliament. He wants the law to start looking after a group of people who often end up suffering by themselves. Dominic Reynolds, 5 News.